Hey, what's up everybody? This is Angie coming to you again from the Shy Town. Hold it down, Queen Common Sense. Coming to you in peace and love. <clears throat> Excuse me today. A little under the weather. A little sinus problem, weather change, pollen in the air, you know. But uh, I'm coming to you with, with a heavy heart today because, you know, I've been following this little story about Bishop Eddie Long and these allegations, heavy, serious allegations coming, confronting him uh, with uh, sexual coercion and molestation or whatever of these two or four young men who were allegedly part of his ministry. And, um, you know, it never ceases to amaze me, you know, in the media, how, you know, filth and disrespect and hate and things like that get ratings and get attention. And the responses I've been reading and opinions I've been reading about what people think and their personal view on if he's guilty or innocent or however he responded to his lawyers and his congregation first versus speaking out in public in a news conference first is indicative of his guilt or innocence. You know, it's, it's almost, almost unbelievable how ignorant some people can be. And it just further confirms to me, in my opinion, how very much so accurately my statement I make often is that common sense is not common at all anymore in a lot of people. Now, personally, you know, what we think and what we feel is our own opinion. Everybody has a right to their own opinion. Everybody has a right to feel that however they want to feel. I realize that. However, I'm coming to you from a place of empathy and general human civility for our fellow brothers and sisters. You know, doesn't matter what culture, what race. You know, I, I, this is a shout out to those who have so many filthy, nasty comments to, and hateful things to say about this situation because we really don't know what really is the truth. You know, we really don't know if it happened or not. We really don't know what went down. So my thing is here, people, everybody, think back to those times in your life when you were facing something, when you were going through trials and tribulations or being accused of something that you may have been guilty or innocent of, or you have been placed in the hot seat and, and the burden of proof has been laid in your lap to defend yourself under some heavy, heavy allegations. Think about it, people, before you start running your mouth, talking crazy shit out the side of your mouth, saying all these nasty, filthy, low-level comments about people. You, first of all, a lot of us don't even know the accusers or the accused. We don't personally know them. We don't know you know, their lifestyle. We don't know what they do behind closed doors or whatever when they're not just in the general public, obviously. So, you know, all these comments I'm seeing, I know it's the Internet and whatnot, but it's real people behind these keyboards making these comments, you know, good or bad, you know, and, and that's why they have created the justice system. And true enough, you know, it doesn't always work in favor of those that are innocent, and it also doesn't work in favor of those that should be punished. So we, we really need to be careful what we say, how quickly we come to judge 
someone or place judgment or come to a conclusion on if someone is guilty or innocent, especially in some heavy ass shit that Eddie Long is being accused of. You know, we really need to be careful what we say, how we say it, and, and, and just show some human respect, you know, and decency. You know, show some, show some human respect and decency for this man's situation, for the accuser's situation. You know, both parties have families, both parties have children involved, loved ones that both care for them very much so. Think back to when you were facing your trials and tribulations and the burden of proof was on you to prove your innocence or disprove your guilt. Come on, y'all. It's some real foul shit that's going around. People are saying. And it's no hesitation to to how people say things and what they say and, and the consideration to who might see it or hear it. If you were in either party's position, think about how it would make you feel if you read some of the stuff that I've seen. You know, and I don't even know Bishop Eddie Long personally. I visited his church. I've been to a few of his services, but I've never met him personally. Okay? You know, and if you're a believer or not, that's fine. You know, and I'm, I'm speaking to people on a human standpoint now. You know, y all, y all, some of y'all should be really ashamed of your damn self. With some of the shit that you say, you comment on, how you say it, and how filthy it is. You know, and then you'll be the first one to say, well, I'm an, I'm an adult person. I can form my own opinion about whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. True. But sometimes you have to be careful and filter some of the shit that come out your mouth and how it comes out your mouth. You have to be situation sensitive. This is common sense. Use your common sense before you open your mouth because you wouldn't want anyone commenting like that about you or your loved ones or anybody that you're close to that might be going to a, through a tough time like this. So we, we need to stop all the hate and assumptions and come into conclusions about people before we know all the facts. Now, me personally, I, I don't have an opinion really yet until the court case starts and until it's complete. So we need to be careful what we say, how we say it, and who's watching. That's the problem now with the world going through all the shit that we're going through. People are no longer sensitive. People no longer have any filter on what they say, how they say it, when they say it. And so forth. We need to pull back, fall back a little bit, and stop all this crazy talk, all these just underhanded, low down, dirty commentary we making on people's lives. This is people's lives, people's well being, people's future. That that's that's in the palm of Mother Justice's hand. And it's co consistently saddening me to see just how far down the toilet human general civility is in America, in the world today. You know, some of y'all be ashamed of your damn self. Seriously. I really don't give a care what anybody thinks about what I have to say. But I know I will have a filter on how I speak about and what I think about certain situations and certain people when they're going through some tough times. We have to think about these people's families, these people's ch innocent children involved. Nieces, nephews, uncles, aunties, mothers, fathers. It's, it's a lot of people involved in this. So before we jump to a conclusion and decide we're going to judge somebody based on what the little bit of information that we've heard thus far about this man and these young men accusing him of this sexual allegations, he coerced these young men and whatever, think about it. 
Think about if it was your loved one. Think about if it was your child, your father, your uncle, your pastor. You know, again, I know people have the right to say what the hell they want. Fine, but you, you don't have to be so nasty. You don't have to be so cruel, crude. Now, I tell it like it is, yeah. Yes, I say some things, yes. I tell, I tell how I feel, yes. But I'm situation sensitive about it. You know, I'm not just going to run off at the mouth, spouting out all this fire shit out of my mouth, and I only have a little bit of information. I speak on what I know, and that that I don't know, I keep my mouth shut. So, you know, we, we, we need to practice that a little more. Everything is not based on faith value. You know, faith value from what we see. We don't know. We don't know all the details. More to unfold coming with this story. So, you know, y'all y'all keep it keep it tight. Keep it right. You know, be the grown-up, adult, mature-minded people that you really are. And use your brain for what it's for. And stop talking all this shit that you don't know. And making all these assumptions that you don't know about. It's other people watching. Children are, uh, might hear it or might see it. When they get older, they might run across these things that's been said about Bishop Long or the young men accusing him of this shit. It's unfortunate. It's very sad. And it's even more sad that there's millions and billions of people in this world that's the ignorant ass motherfuckers who just say shit out the side of their mouth and really don't know what the fuck they're talking about, speaking from emotion and not being rational. You know, so that's my piece today. And, you know, show some empathy, human, decent civility towards your brother, your sister, your neighbor, your family, strangers. Try being nice. Try saying something nice. Try praying for the man. Wishing him well. Wishing his accusers well. That is the best outcome for all involved. Instead of talking all this shit and saying all these negative things about them. Okay? Just do that for me. Please. And y'all keep me up in the highest prayer. Queen Common Sense coming to you from the shy town holding it down. Show some empathy. Show some love, y'all. Karma is a motherfucker. Karma's a bitch. Just keep that in mind. Please rate, comment, subscribe below. Tell me what you think. Whether you agree, disagree, thumbs up, thumbs down. Pass it around. Let me know. Queen Common Sense, peace out. Till next time.